Hi guys, I just wanted to share a movie update with you, which I know I haven't done a great job of doing, and it's because I've been traveling and speaking, but also just trying to process turning your life story into a major motion picture is kind of chaos. I mean, it's also really amazing and exciting, but wow, it's a lot. And it's hard to find a way to put all of that into words. First of all, it was a really hard decision to even make a movie in the first place. Turning the story of my kids and I building a house into a film? I mean, I walked away from producers three solid times before I agreed. There are so many complicated contracts and so many things that I had to agree to do and not to do. I mean, when you sell your life story, you no longer own it. So let that sink in. I don't own my own life rights. The use of my own name or my kids and their names and how they're used, how they're portrayed. So why did I even decide to accept the film option in the first place? Well, I decided it was worth it if we could do one thing. And that was to focus on the way that people would feel when they walked out of the theater. I didn't want people to walk out feeling sorry for me or even feeling like I did something crazy or amazing. I wanted people to feel like if this small, unlikely person could stick with it and figure out how to do this thing for her family, how to build an entire house, then I wanted them to feel like they could do whatever crazy big dream they've been putting off. So that's it. If we can make a film like that, it's a massive win. So I talked to a lot of producers and I finally went with the ones who fit that goal. And that's Escape Artist with Jason Blumenthal, Steve Tisch, Todd Black, and David Bloomfield. And they've done hundreds of successful films. Recently, they did The Upside with Nicole Kidman, The Equalizer 2 with Denzel Washington, The Backup Plan with Jennifer Lopez, and they also did an older one that really swayed my decision. They did The Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. Oh, and we've also signed, besides The Escape Artist, we've signed with a major studio. I can't share who that is until they announce it first, but it's super exciting. And I'll skip all the contracts and details and just kind of give you guys the process. After we had the producers, it was time to write the script. I mean, it's based on my book, Rise, but obviously that has to be turned into a screenplay first. And that means changing a lot of stuff around, kind of like massaging it to fit it into a 130 page script. And every page of script is about one minute of screen time. That's how that works. And that means a few words of dialogue has to tell what I told in whole chapters. Of course, we have the visual on the screen to also help out. Now, I write books, but I'm new to writing screenplays. So the producers hired Kate Angelo to do the really hard writing with me just consulting along with a copy of my memoir, Rise, and an old copy that I had tried to write as a fiction version quite a few years ago. And we used all of that for the general story arc of the film. Now, if you're feeling sorry for Kate right now, yeah, she had to put all of that together. Whew. She had a challenge, but she was up for it. Kate Angelo wrote some of Will and Grace, which is a TV show. She wrote a sex tape with Cameron Diaz and also the backup plan, which I already mentioned that our producers did with Jennifer Lopez. So she's a super talented writer. And then there we went, leaping in and writing a zillion phone calls and text messages between Kate and I later. We have finally finished the script again. Because when you finish, it goes back for notes to the producers and the studio and the actress. Oh wait, I forgot to even mention the actress. We have an A-list in the news every single day, major actress who's currently attached to play me. How crazy exciting is that? I can tell you who that is just as soon as the studio announces it. 
So we're, we, we work on the script and we put it out there and it goes out to all these people for notes and the actress and her business partner. Um, and then Kate and I get all of these notes back and we have to figure out how to fit all of that in because every time they want more stuff, like more details here, more struggle there, more drama, more, more, more. But what they never want is more pages because that's more money in the budget. So of course it's a huge challenge and I'm so lucky because I get to brainstorm all of this with Kate and figure out what to cut and how to fit it all in and then she writes it all down. It's the most surreal and out of body thing to replot your own life. It's still holding the truth of the storyline but choosing which parts to highlight and which order to show them in. So we can create this sort of typical story arc that you guys expect when you're watching a film. All of that is really disorienting sometimes. You're literally reading your life flashing before your eyes. It's crazy. And as we move through all these different versions through the past months, I noticed that at one point I switched persons when I was talking to Kate. Like when we started, I would say, okay, I carry the plywood over here, then I lift it up there, but then it falls. And now more often it's, and then Kara falls over here and Kara does this. So instead of talking about myself as me, I switched to the third person. Because in my head, this character has changed from me to the actress. It's so weird and it's really hard to describe. But even though that switch was accidental, I think it was a really healthy switch because I needed to remove myself a little bit from this. It kind of lowers the stakes in some ways for me personally. And that just feels healthier and more grounded. Okay, so I think I've caught you up for now. Next, we're waiting for any last minute notes to come back, which I really, really think we're through with all of the major notes. And we're ready to move forward with what will be next is an announcement from the studio and the actress, and then a production schedule. And this could all happen really quickly, and it looks like it's on target to do that. Or it could drag on a long time because that's what Hollywood does sometimes. Now I'm gonna share more with you guys just as soon as I'm allowed to. And in the meantime, I'd love to hear from you guys. Especially, you know what I'd love to hear? If you guys were in this situation right here, who would you pick to play you in the story of your life? Shoot me a note in the comments and keep watching for the next update.